How's everybody doing today? Hey, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this, um, this Tronic C X5 SA. I, I wound up getting, I got it, um, I got it right around Christmas time for probably about, I think around, right around 250 bucks. Um, but I had to do a lot to it. Um, <clears throat> to start with, I mean, right out of the box, it's really tough to get it to print. Um, at least that's the problems I had. And pretty much everybody that I've spoke to, it seems like they also have a lot of problems with them as well. Um, I wound up putting, obviously printing a bunch of different mounts for the uh, the hot end. I have a an actual E3D V6 hot end on it um, with some printed mounts for the and a 50-50 or 50-15 fan. Uh, mount a BL touch believe it or not it's a BL touch wired to a the chit tube board the stock board that comes with it but it, I'm running Marlin firmware uh, let me see if I can get you guys down here to see real quick <clears throat> it's running Marlin firmware uh, I went ahead and flashed that I'll leave a link down in the description on where you can go there's a there's a discord community that these guys are pros on this X5 SA for this. Um, I'm running a 600 watt Meanwell power supply, and that's because the original one I had on there, the stock one that comes with it, the 350 or whatever it was, it blew up on me because I put a 400 watt Canovo um, heater on here. You guys can see it, it's 24 volt. And I, at the time, I didn't think anything of it, and I thought 400 watt should be okay, but apparently not. It smoked the power supply out. So I put a, I went ahead and wired up a 600 watt all myself. I left the, the stock enclosure like that with the stock board in it. Um, and I did the little Z belt, the dual Z uh, for the Zs right there. I did. Um, I did, um, as you can see, aluminum plate right there. I think that's a quarter inch aluminum plate. I did that and I did a three, three knob leveling deal. Two in the back, one in the front. The only reason why I did that is just because of the wires back there. And then I did a filament spring steel sheet. It's dual, it's textured on one side and smooth on the other. I put the extruder on the top for like a direct drive, and there's a mount for that. I 3D printed uh, that little mount back there. If, um, I'll try and find all the links for this. I'll put them down in, in the description. I mounted my uh, filament with that 2020 extrusion I had left over from when I put these linear rails on there. Um, and then I mounted it like that and did that um, did that spool holder. The, um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a link to that down in the description. But this is running a BL Touch, like I said, on a stock Chit 2 board, running Merlin firm, firmware. And there's a guy that every, you know, Jeff's Corner, he's the one where I, um, I watched his video and he linked uh, another guy in the description for his email address and he's the one who actually sets it up to where it uses the Wi-Fi port off of this the stock board to run the BL Touch. He has the firmware and all the mounts and the module that you need to hook up for this. So I'll put his email address in the description. So if you need that, you have to contact him for it. And just by looking at Jeff's video, I came across it, and that's how I was able to do it. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to replace the, the board. I mean, the board, is it, it does pretty decent, I think, for what it's supposed to do. And why replace it? I guess if I don't really have to as of right now. Um, what else did I do? Uh, just trying to get it to run is uh, it's it's been a chore a chore, but I was able to get it done. Um, definitely would recommend the BL Touch because 
that inductive sensor, it's oh, it, I couldn't get anything right with it. So I figured the BL, I'll try the BL Touch, and the BL Touch actually wound up working for me. Maybe it might, you know, maybe it might not work for somebody else, or you know, everybody's different. Their setups are different, but this is what's working for my setup right now, and it's it's running. So far, I've done three or four good prints without without any any hiccups or anything, and it's been running good. And actually, uh, I think his name is Dan. Uh, Dan's firmware actually. I mean, it runs, it runs pretty fast and quick, and it, it does an awesome job. Um, but I thought I'd just put out a quick little video on, on what was going on with mine. I pretty much upgraded everything on this but the board. Um, just to get it to try to get it to run right. Figuring, you know, just um, process of elimination, I guess. And... It's running now, so I'm happy with it. I will leave links in the description for everything that um, that I have done to mine. And if it works for you, then I hope it works for you. If not, then you'll have to try something else. I'd also appreciate it if you could share this video with, with somebody else and hopefully, um, hopefully it works for them. And um, also, too, I wanted to mention about the plate. I wound up, obviously, you have to get that from another place. And it's it's a cast aluminum tooling plate, super flat. But the these these bars that the bed attaches to, along with on the side over there where the, uh, the, the Z-Rod and everything hooks to, those are really thin metal. I mean, I don't know if... Maybe even upgrading those super flat aluminum bars would work, but I, it's worth a try. That's the, that's the only other thing that I didn't do on this thing. And it's, the frame is, I checked, double checked the frame. It's all square. I put in them corner brackets. Um, I wound up getting some aluminum corner brackets off of Amazon. And I know you can 3, you know, 3D print your own, but I got them off Amazon because they're aluminum and they seem to work well and the um for the power supply it comes it it has a mount for it i'll link that in the description um and then i um did a mosfet here let me show you guys real quick then i might as well for this power supply it, there's a 3d printed holder for it and it just bolts down to the 2020 extrusion down there i can't remember there's another video, if I find it, I'll link it, where he's a popular 3D printing guy um, who actually bought the same power supply and printed up the mount for it, so I did that. And then um, there's the MOSFET, that's all wired in. I did that for this, um, the 400 watt Canovo heater. And um, it seems to be, it heats really well. And like I said, that's the cast aluminum tooling plate bed. And it, it works. It's working real well now. So if you guys could maybe, um, you know, share this video. And hopefully it'll help somebody out. Also, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. So when I do release another video, I'm going to try to keep releasing videos. I'm going to try to do it every other maybe couple weeks on anything new that comes up. So I'd appreciate if you guys would um, hit the notification bell. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.